I'm Dave Van About of Excess Corporation and this is just a short video of an initial test of the new version of the Zula FPGA prototyping board. Here's the new version of the Zula board. It's the same form factor as the original Zula board. Two inches by one inch. Uh, just to give you an idea of the size. That's my thumb. Uh, it's got a USB connector, voltage regulators, the FPGA has been upgraded from a Spartan 3A200 to a Spartan 6 LX25, bringing it from about 3,500 logic elements up to 24,000 logic elements. And there's been a micro SD card socket added for non volatile storage for the FPGA. Uh, same. Uh, 20 pin connectors along each side for prototy uh, prototyping header. Flipping it over, we have the uh, got a PIC microcontroller, an 18F14K50 for managing the USB interface. Uh, SD RAM, it's been increased by a factor of 4 from uh, 8 uh, from uh, 8 megabits noise from 64 megabits up to uh, 256 megabits 16 megs by 16 and the uh, serial flash here for holding the FPGA configuration uh, so the FPGA can be configured when the board is in a standalone mode and is not connect connected to the USB interface. Now we're going to run a very simple test on the Zula board and that's just to have it drive an LED display and make sure that uh, the FPGA is working correctly and can can do something uh, that shows it's functioning. So what we're going to do is place the F, uh, the uh, Zula board into a motherboard that will allow me to connect an LED display to it. In this case I'm using an 8 digit LED display that I've built and that's going to interface through this connector over here. So now we're going to program the FPGA and it will communicate with the LED display over here and display some characters that uh, uh, we can use to make sure that everything, at least the base functions of the, of the new Zula board are operating correctly and from that point we can have some confidence to move on and test some of the other features. and I'm going to download the bitstream and you'll see the green LED will flash during the download process of the bitstream and it's a 6 megabit bitstream so it'll take a few seconds there we go now you see once the bitstream is downloaded the LEDs will display digits uh, the hexadecimal digits 0 through 9 and A through F just in a continuous rolling loop not very exciting, but it does show that the FPGA has been configured correctly and that it's able to uh, uh, drive its outputs and also receive a clock input uh, to uh, drive the state machine that controls this. So overall the first test looks like it's successful. Okay, that's it for my first initial test of the Zula board. I've shown that the FPGA is being configured correctly, the USB interface to load the bitstreams is uh, operating like I think it should, and now it's just a matter of going on through the other pieces of the Zula board, uh, the SD RAM, the serial flash, the micro SD flash, and making sure all those work correctly And as we make our way towards uh, production of this thing. Thanks very much for tuning in and uh, see you next time.